We'll start with a Cricut Rigid Heddle Loom. Work with 13 threads of lace weight in a 12 dent reed. Pick some great yarns that you'd like to work with, some beads that you like, and we're going to use some thread to put the beads on. We're going to begin by weaving a yarn and not all the way across. The yarn that I chose has bobbles. And as you can see, when I open up the shed and put the yarn in, I'm going to place the bobble where I would like to see it. We're going to be doing plain weave, alternating every other shed. You can see here that I didn't go all the way across, so I pick the warp thread that I'd like to go around and reinsert the yarn at that point and beat the thread down. We're going to continue to weave back and forth using that, that same idea and technique. When inserting a new yarn, you can see that I'm not going to go all the way across again. I'm going to open up those warp threads on an open shed and tuck the little end down behind. The yarn that I'm using has this little bit of a tail on it wrapped around the core. So on the next shed, I'm going to put the core through and then a little bit of the tail, but I don't want the tail to go all the way across. This is part of your design decision, and I encourage you to just feel free to see how it works. Here you can see I took the core all the way across, and I'm going to actually secure it down with that little flaggish tendril that was hanging out, and then reinsert on a different shed that core yarn again and beat. I'm going to build up that little section and you can see how I have these nice almost lace ribbon looking bobbles on the right hand side. Well the left hand side has been continued to be built up with the core part of the yarn. Sometimes you'll want to weave with one of the threads that's actually in an open shed. Just go around the selvage on the warp wrap it around and reinsert it back into the shed. You'll notice right there that you do have a little spot that has two threads in the same shed and that's okay. You see with a little bit of movie magic I'm going to build up the threads and take another thread from back behind and just continue to keep weaving. After I have a sufficient amount built up on the right side, I want to start working on the left side and I grab a thread from down below. I have the choice now, do I want to bring it up the side selvage or bring it in from the middle? My choice here is to bring it in from the middle because I think it will be a little less obvious. I'm on an open shed. I'll bring it up to where it would meet the part that I've built up on the right and continue weaving from there. I feel like it may be time to pick up that middle thread, and I pick it up and I put it back into the shed. This is truly a project for the weave-as-you-go type of weaver. Managing the selvages can be an issue. Just make sure, if it looks like there's going to be a gap, that you wind around the outermost selvage, even if it's not on the top of the shed, to secure those edges. This looks like a great spot for some beads. I will choose my beads, put the heddle in the neutral position, and take my thread that I've already used on previous beading sections and bury it in the fabric of the bracelet up to the point where I'm going to put in the new beads. Putting the needle behind the warp, I am then going to thread on the beads that I would like to use. Pushing the beads all the way down the thread, they will then drop behind the warp. Using my fingers, I will then position the beads in between the warp threads. Remember, your heddle is in the neutral position. Once the beads are in a position that you like, remember, the heddle is in neutral, you will then reinsert the needle over the warp threads. The other thread going through the beads is underneath. This secures the beads. You will then continue weaving 
and freeform weaving until you're done with your bracelet.